plague that now sweeps through the worlds of man, leaving behind a trail of dead planets and towering icons, monuments to their unholy crusade. All those poets on all those worlds who spoke of war as such an unsightly thing, they never stood here. Never fails to inspire, does it? Each time a world falls. The Necromongers, a dark army that will convert or kill every last human life, unless they can be stopped. But sometimes, the only way to stop evil is not with good. You must confront it with another kind of evil. Who the hell are you? Where does he come from? Who are his people? These are the things I need to know. Do you remember your home world? Have you met any others? Others like yourself. It's not my fight. Consider it a test. Convert now or fall forever. Are you gonna stop the monsters now? I am the monster. Riddick. Here they come! He's beginning to understand. Are you with me? Who is this man? He sees everything. You are not the one to bring me down. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? There was a time when people believed everything they heard on TV. This was an age when only men were allowed to read the news. And one anchor man was more man than the rest. Good evening. I'm on Burgundy? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Hey, Garth, how's the divorce? Oh, not so good. I'll probably never see my kids. Fantastic. Again. I'm not lonely. I'm beloved by everyone in San Diego. You're so wise. You're like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What are your passions? To be the first female anchor. And I'd like to be king of Australia. Seriously, you sound like an insane person. I just got a call from Network, and the decision has been passed down to make Veronica our co-anchor. No! 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 Don't get me wrong. I love the ladies, but they don't belong in the newsroom. It is anchor man, not anchor lady. I don't know what we're yelling about. What if just for tonight we weren't co-workers? We were co-people. Oh, I'm storming your castle on my steed, milady. We should keep it relatively quiet around the station. Absolutely. I'd also like to share with you that we are currently dating and that she is quite a handful in the bedroom. Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Knights of Columbus, that hurts! What are you doing on our station's turf, Burgundy? Come get a taste. Yay! Uh, you took a bullet for me. Uh, and I would not do that again. Uh, it hurts like a mother. Take me. Take me right now. Let's make a baby! Peter Colt was once a rising star. Once ranked 15th in the world, are you? Uh, 11th, actually. Who never rose to the top. That's Peter Colt, once ranked 17th in the world. 11th! Now, 
in his final tournament. Since this may well be my last Wimbledon press conference, I'd like to announce my retirement from... It's Jake! Tennis. That's my retirement from tennis. He's about to meet someone who knows what it takes to win. Oops! Sorry, wrong court. Lives in property, right? Yeah. Ten bucks says you can't hit two in a row. You're exceeding my expectations. Mine too. Hit this one, and I'll sleep with you. Ow! Too bad. You could have used the workout. My daughter's on a roll right now, but I don't want her to have any distractions. Right. Of course. I guess you're just what I need. Sorry, just to clarify, do you see me as a distraction? This time, the guy everyone counted out. Go out there and decide who you are. Who might not be? Might be a winner. Incredible! This is the first seeded player he's defeated in two years. Is now the guy everyone's talking about. What did I always say about you? You're not still my agent, I Here you are existing again, so I'm back selling again. You know, I genuinely despise you. From the makers of Notting Hill and Bridget Jones. I know that Lizzie likes to have her fun. This time it's different. She's falling for you. <laughs> Kirsten Dunst. Paul Bettany. What do you think makes her so extraordinary? She makes a decision, she goes for it. When you fear nothing. Not to add to the pressure, but you know the entire United Kingdom is cheering you on. Oh. Yeah. Anything is possible. You're doing so great. You just have to... Keep winning. So keep winning. It's when your heart's really in it that you play your best. And for one moment, the world is yours for the taking. Wimbledon. There'll never be another tournament. Another trophy. Another girl. That's right, Leslie. Lizzie! Ow, ow, Lizzie! Hello? It's me. Just one little... I'm fine, thanks. Everything all right with you? Fine. Though, so, uh, I've just had a rather graphic shack flashback. You two have a genuinely gorgeous bottom. Right, well, thank you. I'm actually with the Mexican ambassador just at the moment, and the head of Amnesty International, and the undersecretary for trade and industry, and you're on speakerphone. Oh, right. Ever thought about doing it in the dark with a total stranger? No, all right then. Perhaps not a total stranger. Oh, God, I hope you're wearing those giant panties. Please be wearing the giant panties. <gasps> oh, my old friends. Daddy's home. <laughs>
The pirates are out to get you. Don't let them brand you with their mark. Piracy funds organized crime and will destroy our film and video industry. Piracy costs jobs and will destroy our music and publishing industry. Piracy funds terrorism and will destroy our development and your future enjoyment. Don't touch the hot stuff. Cool is copyright. Copyright is a matter of fact. If you have any knowledge of the manufacture or sale of counterfeit film and video product or related software, please call our UK hotline on 020 8568 6646 or in the Republic of Ireland 01 882 8565. In Australia, you should call the Australasian Film and Video Security Office on 1800 251 996. Or for New Zealand, the New Zealand Film and Video Security Office on 0800 275 002. Your support will help end the distribution of poor quality product. Don't let the pirates burn a hole in your pocket.